Okay, this is the final exam uh, sample review. Uh, so we're going to go through the version A's on this one. This one we'll do kind of version A and version B for number one because it's a longer problem. Uh, but I'll do version A's uh, for the rest of them. The problems in the final exam will be similar to the ones that you see here. If there's a section that we covered this semester that does not appear on the sample exam, that means it will not be on the actual final exam. So this will just tell you all the different types of sections that you'll be responsible uh, for knowing. Uh, on the final exam, uh, for those of you that are taking this uh, class, uh, if we're meeting in person, you would have a, a four by six note card, both sides that you can use for formulas. So you can put anything that you want on that particular uh, formula sheet. Uh, so that would be available uh, for you uh, to have as you're taking the final exam, you're allowed to use that one. So no formulas are going to be given on the final exam itself. You'll be responsible for having that 4x6 note card with you as you take the final exam. Okay, so now let's get into the, the problems here. Uh, so this one, there is a graph that's going to be provided, and all these questions here are require you to read values off of the graph. So for f of negative 2, now these here are like pre-calculus questions. Uh, we're not using calculus or limits on that. All, this, all these are saying is, what is the y value when x is equal to either negative 2 uh, or 3? So for a, we want to look at the graph, and where we see negative 2, we're going to write the answer. Now, these two here, they're only going to have answers if you have a closed circle on the graph. So for f of negative 2, the answer is not going to be negative 1 because that point uh, doesn't exist there. It's open circle. So the answer is going to have to be where there's a closed circle. So for this one, the answer is going to be 2. That's the y value when x is equal to negative 2. Now for this, f of 3. Notice that there's no closed circle there at that point. There's only an open circle. So because of that, we have to put d and e there because there's no closed circle. You can only have an answer if there's a closed circle if you have the f. Now limits, it doesn't matter whether you're going to a closed or open circle. Uh, you can have answers on those. It's just these two that aren't going to have uh, answers. Let's do the limit ones now. We want to take the limit as x approaches 3 right here from the positive side. So you're coming in from here. So as you're coming in here, you're going to get very, very close to 3, and you want to look at what is the y value approaching as you get very close to the x value of 3. That x value is going to be 0. Next, we want to find the limit as x approaches 3 from the negative side or from the left. So that one is going to be approaching 0 as well. Now for E, this is going to be asking you to find the limit as you approach 3. So this is where you're going to look at does the limit from the left and the right approach the same thing? If it does, then this is going to have an answer. So whatever both of these limits are approaching, this one's going to have exactly the same answer. So because from the both of these in each direction here uh, are approaching the same thing from the left and the right, then your answer is also going to be equal to zero. Okay, now we're going to take a look at f. We have the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the positive side. Here's negative 2. We're approaching it from the right. So as you approach it this way from the right, you're looking at where the y value is approaching. So it's approaching this open circle here. So it's going to be approaching the y value negative 1. Now notice that even though this is an open circle, we can still get this for an answer. That's because it's not asking you for f of negative 2. It's asking you for a limit. So it doesn't matter whether that's open or closed. You can still get an answer at that point. So as you approach negative 2 from the plus side from the right side, it's going to the y value of negative 1. Now the other one, we're approaching negative 2 from the left, from the negative side. So that's going to be this one here. And so as you, you're going to be following this line all the way up. So as you approach negative 2 from the negative side, it's going to approach the y value of 2. So that's plus 2 there. Uh, next, this one just asks for the limit as you approach negative 2. Now, in order for this limit to exist, the left and the right-hand limits have to approach the same number. We notice here that they approach two different numbers coming in from the left and from the right, and we see there's a split there. When that happens, 
that limit is not going to exist. So right here, I need to put D and E there. Uh, that's going to be the answer for H. For I, we want the limit as X approaches negative 1. So in order for this one to exist, it has to approach negative 1. From the left and from the right, it has to approach the same thing. So let's look at that. Here's negative 1. We're going to approach it from the left and from the right. Now notice that at negative 1, we don't have an open or a closed circle there. That's okay. You can still get the answer for that. You don't have to have open or closed circles in order for that to exist. You only have to look for, does it approach the same number from the left and the right? And it does. And the Y value from the left and the right is going to approach 0. And that's going to be your answer. Now, for J, it's asking you for where the graph is discontinuous. Okay, well, it's going to be discontinuous where you have a break in the graph or if you have an open circle. So whenever you have an open circle, if you have to lift your pen off the paper and then put it down again to continue, that's a place where it's discontinuous. So we actually have two places where that's going to occur, negative 2 and 3. Those are x values, and those are the x values for which it's going to be discontinuous. There's a, br a break right here at negative 2, and there's an open circle there at 3. So because of that, those are the only two places the graph is continuous everywhere else.